begin. The Mediterranean diet comes from the traditional foods that countries of the Mediterranean area used to eat long way back in 1900s. Hence the obvious name, Mediterranean diet. According to many different studies and research on the lifestyle and eating habits of these Mediterranean people, it has been proven that they had significant better overall health, especially when compared to Western culture like the American residents. Note, even though Mediterranean diet is about the eating patterns of Mediterranean countries, but it's worth remembering that there are so many Mediterranean countries out there, with each having their own unique eating patterns and habits. This is why, when we talk about Mediterranean diet, it only focuses on dietary guidelines and what research has shown to be a healthy way of eating. So remember that the Mediterranean diet is just a generic guideline and you can definitely adjust it to your own personal needs and preferences. With all that being said, here's the bottom line to what you should eat according to the Mediterranean diet pyramid. You should eat lots of vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, legumes, potatoes, whole grains, breads, herbs, spices, fish, seafood, and extra virgin olive oil. On the other hand, this is what you should eat only sometimes, poultry, eggs, cheese, and yogurt, with red meat being something you should rarely be eating. And finally, foods you shouldn't even think about eating according to Mediterranean diet are processed meats, refined grains, highly processed foods, refined oils, and sugar-sweetened beverages. To make it more clear, this is what counts as part of these no-go foods. For added sugars, it includes sodas, candies, ice cream, table sugar, and likewise. For refined sugars, avoid eating white bread and pastas made with refined wheat. Now, you may be thinking that's a lot of restrictions, but as a rule of thumbs, in order to succeed in anything, you must focus on what you should do rather what you should not do. So if you are thinking about the Mediterranean diet, you should focus on what you should eat rather than what you cannot. So, here's a big list of 12 categories of foods and examples of each that you should base your Mediterranean diet on. As a rule of thumbs, just make sure that whatever foods you choose to eat from the list we are about to show you, that those foods are unprocessed and you eat them in healthy portions. Starting of with category number one, eat vegetables. Some vegetables that the Mediterranean diet recommends include tomatoes, broccoli, kale, spinach, onions, cauliflower, carrots, brussels sprouts and cucumbers. Category number two, eat fruits. Fruits recommended as part of this diet include apples, bananas, oranges, pears, strawberries, grapes, dates, figs, melons, peaches. Category number three, nuts and seeds such as almonds, walnuts, macadamia nuts, hazelnuts, cashews, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. Category number four, legumes. These are beans, peas, lentils, pulses, peanuts, and chickpeas. Category number five, tubers, which include potatoes, sweet potatoes, turnips, and yams. Category number six, whole grains, which are whole oats, brown rice, rye, barley, corn, buckwheat, whole wheat, whole grain bread, and pasta. Category number seven, fish and seafood. Even though the Mediterranean diet is very low on animal food, but as a matter of fact this diet still recommends that you eat fish and seafood at least twice a week, simply because of the endless nutrients and proteins found in them. So, some of the top fish and seafood to try on this diet include salmon, sardines, trout, tuna, mackerel, shrimp, oysters, clams, crab and mussels. Category number 8. Poultry like chicken, duck, turkey, which is very similar to category number nine, eggs, especially those of chicken, quail, and ducks. Category number 10, dairy, like cheese and Greek yogurt. Category number 11, herbs and spices, such as garlic, basil, mint, rosemary, sage, nutmeg, cinnamon, and pepper. And finally, category number 12, Eat healthy fats, which include extra virgin olive oil, 
olives, avocados, and avocado oil. Note, you should focus on eating foods within these 12 categories for the best Mediterranean diet experience. Especially, only focus on eating whole, single ingredient foods. Well, we know what you may be thinking. Does the Mediterranean diet recommend any drinks, or is it all entirely foods? Don't worry, we have you covered. As part of your Mediterranean diet like with many other diets out there, you should always be focused on only drinking water as much as possible. Even if you are not on a diet, water should be your number one go to drink. But if you do want to indulge, then the Mediterranean diet does allow you to have one glass of red wine per day. Along with all this, you can also have some tea or coffee, but like we just mentioned, make sure that they are sugar-free. With all this being said, here are some quick tips to be aware of on your Mediterranean diet. Number 1. You don't need to eat more than three meals per day on the Mediterranean diet. But if you do become hungry, you can have some healthy snacks, like carrots, fruits, yogurt, or almond butter. Tip number two. You usually don't need to track or count your calories when on the Mediterranean diet. And most important tip number three. The Mediterranean diet is a long-term goal that you should be aiming to live by every day. Because unlike many fad diets or unrealistic 30-day programs on the market right now, the Mediterranean diet is a set of dietary guidelines and principles that set boundaries as to what foods you can or cannot eat, while still giving you the flexibility to choose the foods you want to eat from the categories we just gave previously. And finally, as promised, here's a quick list of chronic illnesses the Mediterranean diet can treat. These include cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. This is because, according to World Report, the Mediterranean diet is the number one best plant-based diet, best heart-healthy diet, best diabetes diet, best diet for healthy eating, and the easiest diet to follow. So, in summary, the Mediterranean diet is a diet that is very flexible and can be done by anyone. This is why this diet is best when it comes to beginners, and we recommend everyone to try this diet at least once and choose foods from the 12 categories we gave above. Because as we mentioned, this diet can treat many different chronic illnesses, is not like the unrealistic fad diets or programs being advertised today, and above all, has been proven by studies to keep you healthy both mentally and physically. But with all that being said, the Mediterranean diet is really a lifestyle. So, if you want to be successful as a beginner on this diet, then make sure that you also do regular physical activity and exercise daily but don't forget to be happy and enjoy life. And there you have it, how to plan your meals on the Mediterranean diet as a beginner. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe and check out the first link in description below or click on this video right here where we give you a complete free course on how to naturally boost your immune system. On that note, we will see you in our next video.